Shadow Realm. How'd you know? The atmosphere there has a darkness like no other. It's as if color fears to tread. It's unmistakable. Well then, if it's color we need, let's bring the rainbow. Bring the rainbow? Is that a catchphrase or something? She's only been a Thor for a minute. I mean, saving lives she's quite good at, but the rest of it she needs work. How many catchphrases have there been? A lot. Yep. Jump the gun. But hang on, he moves through shadows and he's going to the Shadow Realm. It seems like that's where he's going to be the most powerful. You're right, we can't just go marching in there. It could be a trap. Are you thinking what I think you're thinking? I'm thinking it. What are we thinking? Thinking what? I'm thinking it too. Omnipotency. Mm. So that's the ex-girlfriend, is it? The old ex-girlfriend. Jodie Foster. Jane Foster. The one that got away. The one that got away. That means escaped. Yeah. Yeah. Must be hard for you to see your ex-girlfriend and your ex-hammer hanging out and getting on so well. What you up to, bro? Go to daddy. Come on. No, no. Hey, there you are. Hey. You know I was just calling you. God of Thunder! King Yakan! You have finally joined our fight! Well, they say, better late than not at all. It is very nice. As you know, we used to live in a peaceful oasis. But then our gods were murdered. Murdered? And now our sacred temple has been left unguarded and Hoku's swords took control of its power. It is our most sacred shrine and he desecrates. Not for long. Uh, King Yakan, tell them what happened here today. Tell them the time that Thor, the ragtag motley crew, misfit desperados, turned the time in the battle and etched their names in history. The odds may be against us, but I'll tell you this for free. Here it comes. This ends here and now! Oh! And tensions are running sky high on the set of Love and Thunder because his mood is at an all time low. I'm about to go and help pick up his spirits with my bubbly, energetic personality. This is 10 years for me. I have loved every time I played the character. This new film transitions us from endgame into a rebirth. Thor doesn't know what his place is in the universe. <laughs> That's represented in his wardrobe as well. Oh. 
James? I was really excited to come back as the Mighty Thor and get to share the mantle. What are you wearing? I love it. <laughs> to have both of us in the same cape. <laughs> um, that was amazing and incredible, especially with Taika at the helm. Taika, he's like a big kid. He's like a sort of a genius child. I wasn't afraid to be flamboyant and a bit camp. Hi. Woo! Three, two, one, scream! Giant goats! Look at those! They are wonderful! Yes, they are. They also scream quite a lot. It's hugely imaginative and fun. It's such an enormous scale. <laughs> It's a crazy space adventure with a new villain who's pretty monstrous. Oh, God, she won't die. <laughs> we really raised the bar with Ragnarok. Love and Thunder is even more unique and different, so it's pretty exciting. <laughs> Get to pop corner. Let me tell you the story of the space viking, Thor Odinson. He was no ordinary man. He was a god. After saving planet Earth for the 500th time, Thor set off on a new journey. Well, he got in shape. He went from dad bod to god bod. And after all that, he reclaimed his title as the one and only Thor. Oh, spoke too soon. Jane? The old ex-girlfriend. What's it been like? Three, four years? Eight years, seven months and six days. Give or take. Am I, uh, sensing feelings? <laughs> well, you're right. <laughs> The only ones who gods care about is themselves. So this is my vow. All gods will die. I just want to say that was very, very impressive what you did back there. It's just my first bad guy. <sighs> Never forget your first. You are not like the other gods of Kion. You have something worth fighting for. Let's see who you are. I take off your disguise and flip. Oh, you flip too hard, damn it! Shall we help him? I mean, eventually. Great. <laughs>